Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? For me, it has to be the magical Angel Di Maria. What I like uh, about him is how he's tailored his game to play in different positions, whether it be central midfield, attacking midfield, or, or as a winger. And, you know, he can adapt to whatever's required. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. And here's a corner, good chance. Shade too heavy, Cooper can pick that up. Paris Saint-Germain, one of the league's top scorers, formidable in front of goal. Looking to hit the front line, questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Paris Saint-Germain, clearly one of the informed teams in the league right now. Five wins out of five coming into this game, and hopes for them are rising all the time. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. The referee's awarded a free kick. Kuzawa. Hoists it forward. Gets into a dangerous position. And here's Di Maria. Di Maria really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. No efforts on target is acceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. Oh, that's nice. Florenzi battles to win it back. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. And it's played forward, well positioned to make that interception. Well, that's where he wants it. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Di Maria driving on now. What can they conjure from here? That's offside. Yes, it is. Gets it upfield. Tries to stroke it through. Dangerous looking ball. And it's come to nothing. Paredes. Neymar. Berisha gets his foot in there. Could move up a gear here. He's has a goal! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. 
Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Di Maria. Neymar. Neymar not easily shrugged off the ball. Lobs it in gently. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Keeper's got good distance on that. Over to the left. Receives it in a good position. Kozawa did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Goes for goal! A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Yeah, he's made sure that that won't get through. Defenders on the back foot. Looks to dink one in. Dinked in. And he heaves it forward. Neymar. Neymar! And it's a goal! Well, let me assure you that scoring just before half-time is always a real treat. And when it's one of your top talents who delivers it, it just seems to fuel confidence that little bit more. A truly wonderful strike, decorated with dip and curl. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. Paris Saint-Germain take the lead, 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Di Maria. Paris Saint-Germain get it back again. It's Di Maria. It's Di Maria! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. And the first 45 minutes are up. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. <laughs> well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Paris Saint-Germain come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Paris Saint-Germain carrying a one-goal lead. He gets past his man. A chance to play it in. It's found its way to him. Di Maria needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Kimpembe. Kuzawa. Neymar, Paredes, Neymar, and here's Neymar, and here's the chance to counter. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And it's Pablo Sarabia.
And the weighted pass. What an adventurous run from a defender. And here comes the corner. And that's been leaped. Tries his luck. And the defence can get it clear. Paredes. Verratti. Shapes to shoot. Saved. It's good keeping. Di Maria put absolutely everything he had into that. Maybe better look next time. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Rose are oh, making a change now. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Your impression so far, Jim? Peter, they're leaving nobody guessing now. This is a decisive attempt to go further in front. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. And it's Neymar. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Berisha brings the ball forward. Out to the right. Back into the middle. Cut out in the nick of time. Florenzi. Forward it goes. He's through the middle. Di Maria. Up to meet it! Oh, she's needed a better contact. Stagaras can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Rose are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Tries to stroke it through. Rafinha with the clearance. And that has been cleared. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. He's in! Out for a throw. Keeps everyone guessing. In towards the middle. And he's there to clear it. Stadaras are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Just five minutes remaining now. Paris Saint-Germain need to hold on for a few more moments. It's a loose ball. Rafinha proves too... Yeah, he's fouled him there. Well, the ref's been lenient here. Down he'll get too many more chances. A 
and he just whacks it away. Stade Veras need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Just brushed off the ball there. Now it's Di Maria. Oh, he's broken through. Mbappe. And he's there to hoof it away. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim?